Welcome to my friends. I am your host today. Uh, in this tutorial, as you are going to see that count, right? Count, count a, count if, count ifs, and the count blank function. So how we are going to use it? Just take a look at. It. Right. Uh, so welcome to the computer screen, guys. So this is uh, the formulas which we are going to say it, right? And this is basically you know sample dump. I can say. Correct, and how we are going to use this particular functions? I'll demonstrate you over here, right? So without further ado, let's get started. So is equal to function first, and then count. Okay, you can add from function from here itself, or there is an option called function right. You can click here, and accordingly we can select the function. What I'll do? I'll select the you know is equal to, and type function over here, right? Count, and then we'll select the values. Okay, whatever values we need to check on, correct? So this is the count function basically, and I'll press on the enter button. So you can see total whatever count values are there, right? So total values count will be reflected over here, correct? Now count a function. Okay, the count a function is the similar one uh, which we are you know seeing in the count, but the only difference is that it also captured the text. Okay. Let's me show you. Is equal to count a, correct? And then I'm first selecting the value. Okay. Compared to the bracket, now we are seeing that you know the value has been showcasing over. Now let me add one more uh, column over here. So I'll quickly show you the difference between count and count a. Okay. Okay, and then adding the count again, and the whatever context I do have, I'm just selecting those and enter. You can see it's fetching the zero value. It means that count function is not capturing the text. Now I'm clicking on the count a again, the selecting the same context, enter. Okay, now you can see the clear description or maybe a difference. In it, right? So I would recommend use the count a instead of uh, count. Okay. Let's go on to the count blank. Okay. Is equal to count blank. So whatever values we do find in this particular table, the blank one, it will automatically redirect it. That so many numbers of values have been blanked. Okay. Let me add the context right blank. Correct. Now it has been also done. Let me add the comment in it. Just deleting this particular column. Adding the done sign so it will help me to understand you know where we are right now. Okay. Now uh, you know closely look at you know count if and count ifs guys. You know. With the help of condition, we can count the whatever context we have added in the sample format, right? And the similar way, we can with the help of criteria range ifs will add the values for the count. Let me add the count if first. I'm selecting this particular range first, right? And then whatever criteria we want to showcase, right? So inverted comma. Fib. So I'm going to see that you know how many times fib has been reflected over here in this particular range. So this is the formula basically. Correct. So fib uh, twice you can see. If I add one more time, you can see the value has been changed. Right. The similar way count ifs. Okay. You can add the two uh, criteria in it. For that you need to select the range as well. Let me show you how we are going to do it. Okay, it's a very important function, guys. Okay, just typing over here, and uh, let me demonstrate you now. Okay, is equal to count ifs, and then selecting this particular range first. Okay, comma, the criteria range. What criteria you want to give it? Okay, I'm just giving the four thousand. 
let me change it from my standard the 5000 i'm changing on the top address bar 4000 so you are uh, complete upon you guys you know how you want to keep your uh, criteria okay i'm keeping 4000 over here and then my second range would be this and uh, validation range right basically and then comma then the same value or uh, maybe i'll add 1000 more so i can add over here 5000 correct and then the one to comma close bracket close and then enter okay you can see the whatever criteria i do have added as per this whatever values in this particular sampler will fetched it okay 5000 and the 10000 okay let me uh, change the value in it so you can see the you know differences in it 4001 okay cool so this is how it works count function guys i hope you found this useful so please give me a thumbs up on this channel and please do subscribe my channel